You carry me when some carry their gods, Jehovah. You feed me, Lord, when some feed their God. Hallelujah. You fight for me when some fight for their God, Jesus. You know they use me, play, oh, Savior, Master. You know they use me, play, oh, sing, you carry me, you carry me, when some carry their God. Hey, you feed me, Lord, when some feed their God. You fight for me, when some fight for their God. Jesus, you know they use me, play, oh. Redeemer, Savior, you know they use me, play. Oh, my brothers and sisters, exalt him. Let your hearts pour out in adoration. Let your hearts pour out in gratitude. Let your hearts pour out in thanksgiving unto him. Dwell on his mercy. Dwell on his compassion towards you. Dwell on his passionate commitment towards you. Dwell on his jealous love over you. Dwell on his kindness towards you. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 says, it is because of the Lord's mercies. It is because of the Lord's kindness and loyalty that we are not consumed because his tender compassions, they do not fail. Oh, thank him. Thank him for his endless patience with us. Ah, I don't know about you, but if God were man, he would have done away with me a long time ago. It is because of his mercies that we are not consumed. Great is your compassion towards us. Bless him. Bless him for his compassion that never fails, for his mercy that is never ending, his unending mercy. Think about his endless patience with you and I. Father, you remember that we are dust. You know our frame. You've inscribed it upon the palm of your hands that we are dust. And Father, you deal with us based on your knowledge, your intimate acquaintance with our frame. Thank you for your patience. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. We keep missing it. We keep failing him. We keep falling over and over again. We keep confessing our sins and the very next hour we repeat it. Oh, but he is endlessly patient with us, forgiving us and drawing us near. Thank you, Father. Thank him for his faithfulness. The one whose name is faithful and true. We constantly stain his glory in our lives. We constantly grieve his holy hearts. We constantly fail him. And yet, yet, you say, O oh Lord, that even in our unfaithfulness, you remain faithful. You abide faithful because that is the very essence of who you are. That that is the very essence of your holy nature. You cannot deny yourself, even in our unfaithfulness, even when we are faithless. Your name is faithful and true. Full of love and full of loyalty are you towards us. You're our God of total and absolute fidelity to your people. Hey, you carry me, you carry me. When some carry their gods, you feed me, Lord. You feed me, Lord. When some feed their gods, you care for me. You care for me. When some care for their gods, Lord, always fighting for me. You fight for me. When some fight for their God, Jesus, you know they use me, play Savior Jesus, you know they use me play. Yes, the Lord Jesus does not play with you. You are his prized possession. You are the apple of his eye. You are the special treasure of Jehovah. What are we that you're mindful of us? You remember us, O oh Lord. You care for us. Father, we are of great value to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Yes, exalt him and let him know that he is the God of gods. Jesus, you have no rival. You have no equal. You have no comparison. Lord Jesus, you stand alone in glory. You stand alone in power. You stand alone in majesty. You stand alone in splendor, in beauty and in holiness and dominion. Life giver, way maker, my Jehovah. Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God, life giver. That's who you are. Sing to him. He's your life giver. He's your way maker. He's your miracle worker. He's your divine helper. He's your mighty healer. He's your great provider. He is your path clearer. He's your sea divider. He's your solution giver. He's your womb opener. He's your mighty, hey, mountain mover or crusher. He's your great deliverer. He's your faithful father and forever father. Yes, sing to him and let him know. Life giver, my way maker, Jehovah, Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God, miracle worker, miracle worker, my helper, divine helper more. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God, great healer, great healer, provider, provider, Jehovah, Jehovah. You are my covenant keeping God. Rakasete shete sangananta. Oh, what has he been to you? Sing it unto him. Let it enter his ear. Let it rise up out of the bowels of your being. Express to him what this covenant keeping God, our Jehovah, Hallelujah. Who is in a covenant relationship with us, sealed by the blood of his son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Way maker, my path clearer. Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. Yes, let it rise up out of you. What he's been to you, what he is going to be to you because you know he will not deny himself. How have you experienced him? My consolation, my comforter. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God, my best friend, Jehovah, my best friend, divine cheerleader, Mo. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God, my mountain crusher, mountain crusher, womb opener, womb opener, eh? Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. You are my wisdom, my wisdom, my counselor, are you? My counselor. Hey, sing to him. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God. Faithful father, faithful father, forever father. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God. Oh, yes. Let him know. Let him hear from you. Your own words, your very words, adoring him, thanking him, lauding his greatness, his might, his majesty, his power, his great acts of power, his marvelous and wondrous works in your life. Hallelujah. My refuge. My deliverer, oh. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God, my security, my fortress. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Yes, you're the God that keeps covenant forever. Thank you for the blood that you shed in the person of your son so that I can be called by your name, so that I would be a beneficiary of so great a salvation, so that I would be called a daughter of the Most High God, so that 
I will have your love lavished upon me as a sheep of your pasture and the daughter of your hand. Jehovah, you are my covenant keeping God. Oh, glory be to your name. Beloved of the Most High God, there is this saying which goes, no matter how much you try to keep your head still and straight when you walk, you cannot completely keep it from moving or shaking. We try our best to dot all our I's and cross all our T's in the affairs of our lives, but human errors occur. Human mistakes will occur. That's unfortunately is the, <laughs> is how life is. At times, human negligence comes in by us or by those we've assigned the tasks to do in our businesses or those who are under us that we've assigned certain tasks and they fail in those tasks. And then, since the buck ends with us, we now have to bear the brunt of that failure. And some of these things can be very costly in terms of loss of money, expending our energy, expending our time in putting these things right. And at times we cannot even, <laughs> as much as we try to do damage control, at times it is beyond repair. Ah, we're going to pray to our great shepherd and the God of our salvation. The one who says hmm, that no matter how much the watchman watches, unless the Lord watches, we watch in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman keeps awake in vain. Unless the Lord guards your life, every attempt to make sure our lives are secure and guarded is in vain. Because we are man, we are flesh and blood, and so we are limited. So let us pray. My Father, you are my great shepherd and the God of my salvation. Secure, O oh God, and protect my affairs from any human error that will cause me great injury and cost me dearly this year. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, pray. Oh, pray to the Lord, the God of our lives, of our ways, of our days, who is in every day of your year already, the God of our salvation, our great shepherd, our refuge, the God who protects us, the God who guards our lives, the Lord who keeps our lives, our divine watchman, Father Satishika, that's a Kabata Satiti Kabanta, Father, Watch, O oh Lord, and secure and protect my affairs. Pray, saints, pray. Are you a businessman? Are you a businesswoman who has employed labor? Pray. Father God, safeguard, secure and keep, O oh Lord, my business. All, oh, every area of my business, O oh Lord. Fortify it and secure it, Daddy, against human errors, against human mistakes, against human negligence, Lord, for I'm flesh and blood. And I'm vulnerable and susceptible to human errors. But you, oh God, hallelujah, are perfect in all your ways and in all your doings. Secure and protect my affairs. Secure and protect my business, my father. Secure and protect me on all sides against all kinds of human errors and negligence and mistakes, Daddy, that will cause me great injury and cost me dearly this year. For you are the Lord God, my place of safety, my place of protection. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone on this hotline. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. 
that in your workplace there is something that you did. Human error on your part. And because of that, your matter is now with human resources in your workplace. You have been put on a leave. You've been put on administrative leave. That is what I'm receiving while they review your matter, while they review your case. And what is going on was not due to any malevolent act on your part. It was human error on your part, a human mistake. Father, you have said, we have just sung, O Lord. Father, that you are the way maker. You're the life giver. You're the sea patter. You're the path clearer. Arise, arise for for your child, oh God. Father Sianka, that is calling upon you and crying out to you. The whole family is crying out to you night and day concerning this matter. Call upon me in the day, in the time of trouble, you have said. I will hear you and I will answer you. I will deliver you and I will honor you. And show you my salvation. In your unending mercy, in your unfailing love and loyalty to your child, O God. Father, and in your immeasurable grace, Father. Have mercy. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. And throw out this case. Have you not said that though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your rod is there, my father, and your staff. To protect us and to guard us. Father, have mercy. We plead your mercy for your child, O oh God. Father, let your mercy say yes, Lord. Father, let your mercy speak. Father, on behalf of your child right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those who accuse him, my father, melt away before his face, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. He will seek them and he will not find them, Lord. Throw out this case, my daddy, that is under review. Arakamyanta and deliver your child. Father Sarieke Panashinga Mianta Storuko Panashinga and reinstall your child. Reke Panashinga by your strong hand and your powerful arm in the name of your exalted son. Arakamyanta by whose name your child is called. Reke Panashinga Mianta, are you not our advocate? Arakamyanta Stihika, who takes up our case and our cause. Arrest, O oh God. Arrest every protocol, my daddy. Set aside every governing policy that is speaking against your child. Every protocol that is speaking against you right now. Every governing policy that is working against you. Every rule in your workplace that does not augur well for you. Father, according to your unending mercy and your unfailing compassion, and in the name of our exalted Christ, the Lord God of all flesh, I set it aside for the sake of your son. For in the words of a King, there is power. I decree it set aside for your sake. And I throw overboard this review of your case in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the hand of God, 
<coughs> and in agreement with you and the saints of God on this hotline, we receive your divine reinstallment arakabata, in your place of assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Waymaker. Path clearer. Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. Hey, mountain mover. Mountain crusher. Oh. Jehovah, you are the covenant keeping God. Yes, continue to pray that as you fill out forms this year, those of you who work in hospitals and you have all kinds of protocols that you have to follow in your businesses, in whatever it is, the works of your hands, in your ministry, Father great shepherd and the God of our salvation. Fortify our affairs, O Lord, in the course of this year, in all of our endeavors, my daddy, in the works of our hands, Lord, in our homes, Father. Secure and protect our, affa our affairs from any kind of human error. Secure and protect the affairs of my spouse. Secure and protect the affairs of my children, Lord. Every single one of them, call them by name. Rike Sakamanasika, as we go through this year, Lord. Father Sariak, against human error, human negligence or mistakes, Lord. That will cost us dearly. And will cause us great injury in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I fill out forms, that is the recap and ashinge biastorukumba. Yes, pray. Alala kamiantos to rukupa na shinge patos to rukumba da shinga patastukupa hanga. And pray according to Psalm 127, verse 1. Father, protect, O oh God. Guard and keep the portion that you have blessed me with from any self-inflicted injury that can devastate my life, that will devastate my home, that will devastate my business, that will devastate my ministry this year, Papa, in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, protect me, guard me, and keep the portion you have blessed me with, Lord, from any self-inflicted injury. Safeguard it, Lord. Protect it, my Father. Watch over it. You're my divine watchman. Guard it, oh Lord. You're my divine sentry. You You've said, oh Lord, that you surround me all around. You go ahead of me and you precede me, Jehovah. Rakasaka, you cover me on all sides. Guard, oh Lord, and keep the portion you have blessed me with. In this ministry, Father Satish Kamana, in my business, Rakasaka, yes, call out to the Lord concerning whatever portion it is the Spirit of the Lord lays on your heart to pray about. Father Sarieke Panashike Panasinga, guard my husband, Lord, guard my spouse, Jehovah, guard my wife, Rakasata Shika, those of you who work in hospitals, the nurses on this hotline, Rikesaka Papa Kamanashikana, take this prayer seriously. You know that the line between one having one's license and losing one's license, that line, <laughs> one can cross it just like that. But it will never be your portion. Every license, every certification that the Lord has empowered you and enabled you to have by his great and immeasurable grace in your life will not be stolen and devoured from from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, protect and guard your people. Keep your people in all their affairs, in all their workplaces, in all their businesses, Father, in all of their ministries, Lord, from any self-inflicted injury that will devastate the lives of your people in the course of this year, that will devastate their marriage. That will devastate their marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, pray that the Lord will keep you from 
investing. Taking your hard earned money and putting it in something. That will cause you great financial loss that will devastate you, devastate your business, devastate your family financially. Employers of labor pray. You will not employ an agent of the enemy that will come into your business. Into your ministry. And scatter your business and devastate your ministry and devastate your business. The devil is a liar. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name. Ah, Father, shake papa kanda, shake papa kanda, serere kama na shinga mianta storo kupa na hinga. Sara kana shinge bahanga. Psalm twenty-seven, eleven to twelve says, "Teach me your ways, O Lord." Ah, Jehovah, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies who lie in wait. Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have come up against me, and they breathe out violence. Hmm. Unfortunately, saints of God, we all know that there are wicked and unreasonable people actively malicious and perverse and evil people all around us. And unfortunately, some of them, we take them as those who are close to us and yet their hearts are at war against us. Yet anything that gives us joy, our good fortune, causes them misery. People who are driven by the devil's hatred against you to make your life miserable, to hurt you and to injure you. The Bible says they lie in wait, waiting for the slightest opportunity to pounce on us and to hurt us. You will pray, daughters of God. You will pray, sons of God. And secure your life, secure your affairs against every such work and worker of wickedness, every malicious and evil and perverse person, powered by the fires of hell, who has crept into your life in order to seize occasion. Ah, Rakama, I'm looking for an opportunity to find fault in your life and use it as a weapon to injure or destroy you. The devil is a liar. I lift up and raise up the blood of Jesus Christ against every such person that has subtly crept, that has stealthily crept into your life, into your home, into your ministry, into your... Ah, Rakasa, to befriend your yourself and your spouse, but yet they are an agent of the enemy sent to scatter the very fabric of your marriage. Pray with me and say, my father in heaven, my Lord of hosts, my man of war, my heavenly champion, arise, oh God, and deliver me. Deliver the works of my hands from those who are lying in wait and looking, waiting for an opportunity or occasion to find fault in my life and to and use it as a weapon to injure me and to destroy me in Jesus' name. Deliver me from them, O God. Those whose hearts are at war with me on Arakasete Shekeba da Sike Pana Hanganta. Lalala Kanasete Sheke Pana Sinke Papakanda Sianka. Those of you who are in real estate business. Raka Sate Sheka Papa Kabada Sike Pana Sinke Bianta. If you're in real estate, Rike Satashi Kamianto Storoko Pana Shinke Piasta Rakama na Shinke Patasta Rakamba da Hinga. Laka kakaka kakaka I soak your 
business, those in real estate, in the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak all your affairs right now in the blood of Jesus Christ. I clothe your real estate business in the light of God. And I decree that your real estate business is secured. It is fortified right now. Against every attempt by the spirit of darkness to encroach upon it. And seize occasion and seize of an opportunity. To bring about a whirlwind, a storm of trouble, of legal trouble in your life that will cost you greatly in energy, in money, and in your time that will devour you financially, devour your health, and your time. Every such weapon that has been formed against you, to devour you in your real estate business. I raise up the standard of the name of Jesus against every such work of darkness. I raise up the standard of the blood of Jesus Christ against every such work of darkness. Yes, this demonic assignment against your business. I scatter it and by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare decree and command it to completely unravel before your face and fall apart. It will not. Those who are lying in wait to seize occasion. An opportunity to pounce on you and hurt you in your real estate business will not be able to prosper in Jesus name. Man, oh, thank you, Father. Raka sete sheke papa kanda. Rike kaka kanda. Just let's thank Him. Let's praise Him. Fashete sika papa kanda seke pampa kanda seri kanda sheke. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Sariyeke panashinga. Oh, God, our divine fortification. Laka miyanta kanashinga. Our impenetrable shield. Ala laka miyanta steyanka kanashinga. Our invincible strength are you. Jehovah. There's someone on this hotline, your spouse traveled out of this country. He traveled out of the country and um, you have so much disquiet in your soul and you don't have peace. You've been praying for your spouse. But you don't have peace. All of you on this hotline, I want you to stand in the gap right now for this one. Whose spouse has traveled. Has flown out of the country where this person is based. Just pray in the Holy Spirit. Right now, I release and plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your spouse. I saturate every ground that your spouse will walk on in the blood of the Lamb. I receive a reinforcement of the angels of God assigned to your spouse from the foundation of the earth to stand guard and sentry round about your spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. I erase the handwriting of the enemy concerning this trip by the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus and by the feast of God. I strike the jawbone of the beasts that have gathered round about your spouse in order to devour your spouse. 
Sata shike banta. La 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 kamana sinka. Ara kamianta. I decree kaka 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 da shinga. They are jawbone shattered by the feast of God. And I render them toothless in the name of Jesus Christ. Reke sata shike banta satin shika banta. La 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 kanda. I decree your spouse hardened and fortified. Rendered impenetrable. Ara kaseke padashinka by the diabolic mischief that is being directed against him. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not die. Rakasaka padashike padasika padasinka. You will not be taken out. Ruku pasheke padasike padasinka padasinka. I command the wind of God to blow and to scatter. Erere kamiantas to ruku papakanda shianka. Every congregating of the powers of hell against you. Alala kamianta siyika. And I decree that the angels of God will form a wall that is impenetrable round about you, keeping you fortified the rest of your trip abroad in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakasete shikeme ne singa pada singa. You will see a thousand fall by your side and ten thousand by your right hand. But by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, by reason of the name of Jesus enthroned over you. Rike sakapata shinka bianta. Alala kamianta. And by reason of the light of God round about you. You will not be overcome. You will not be undone. Arakanyanta, your body, your body, your body will not become prey. Alalakama to be devoured by the beasts of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, fashaka pasikanda seke. And now I want to pray for anyone who has called into or logged into this hotline and you are not born again. You are not saved. You have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. Oh, you can do so right now. All you need to do is call upon him. Confess that you are a sinner in desperate need for a savior. And let him know that you believe he died on the cross for you. Arakada Shigan was raised from the dead to give you newness of life so that you may be justified before God, our heavenly father. Because our God in heaven says, if you do not receive Jesus Christ, who he has given freely and so graciously to us as our savior, you are none of his. But Jesus loves you so much that he died on the cross for you. So just pray this prayer with me and for those of you who are saved and you have loved ones in your life it could be your child the child the daughter the son of your loins or your brother or sister or your parent pray for them or your spouse your husband or your wife who is not saved lift them up to the lord and cry out to him that this salvation that you have received that they will Oh, Fashika Panasinka, recognize your love, O oh God, in the face of Jesus Christ and receive so great a salvation that he has come to give us, that he died on the cross to give us. Pray for them, pray for them. Do not be weary in praying for them. The same way you became saved, they will become saved. Rakasata Shikana Singa. And for those of you who are not saved, just pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my heart to you right now. And I receive you as my Savior and my Lord. Thank you for forgiving me my sins. And giving me eternal life with you forever. Hallelujah. I know you have a wonderful plan for my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I may be empowered to live the kind of life you have called me to live and to be the child of God that you have formed me and fashioned me to be. Because apart from you, I cannot do it. 
I receive the Holy Spirit right now and I thank you for him in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ah, thank you. And for any of you who pray this prayer, congratulations and welcome. Welcome to the family of the Most High God. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to the kingdom of light. That's all it takes for you to pray this prayer sincerely and mean it. And on the authority of God's word, you are born again. You are a child of his. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you and your profession of faith on Hotline to Heaven. Let us know you got saved on Hotline to Heaven. Just go to iccla.com and um, contact us or hotlinetoheaven.org and let us know what has transpired in your life. We'd love to rejoice with you. And if you live in the Los Angeles area, by all means, come visit us. Our contact information is at iccla.com and be sure to let us know that you got saved on Hotline to Heaven. And if for any reason we don't get to meet you on this side of eternity, on the authority of God's word, we will meet you in heaven. Hallelujah! For that is the glorious hope we have. Eternity with God forever and ever. And that is your portion now. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And now, let us take our holy communion. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, rasata sheke baba kanda. Ah, sakama na singa bana hanga bana hanga. Our time is fast spent, but I want us to take it because this is what... The Spirit of the Lord has ministered to me every single day. We've got to take our Holy Communion in remembrance of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Ah, Lakana, the blood of Jesus that was shed to seal and to ratify this covenant that we have, this solemn agreement we have with the God of eternity. And so all over this hotline, bring out your holy communion. And Father, by your everlasting hands, I gather the holy communion of your people and I lift it up before your face, Jehovah, our majesty on high. And I invoke your blessing upon these elements. Father, Sarike Manashinga, and as your people take their Holy Communion. I thank you for the surge of your divine power surging through their paths, O oh God, and locating every hidden work of darkness. Raka Satashika that is prowling in darkness. Alakasaka seeking to devour them. Thank you for fortifying their bodies against every plague, every scourge that is prowling in darkness, seeking whom to devour. In Jesus' name, amen. And now take your holy communion in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And now pray. Father, I thank you because your promises find their yes answer. And their amen in Jesus Christ, by whose blood I am a covenant child of the Most High God. I reaffirm my covenant of life and health. And by virtue of your power, your resurrection power, that is surging through me right now. I decree and receive a body that is fortified, impenetrable, unyielding and hardened against every pandemic, every scourge, every disease, that is prowling in darkness, seeking whom to alight upon and devour. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am fortified by your power. 
and my body will not be taken down or and my body will not be overcome yes keep praying by any vile disease in the name of my exalted and supreme Christ in Jesus name as I go out and as I come in as I drive out and as I drive in I am fortified against every disease that is prowling in the air unseen that cannot be detected I will not accidentally ingest I will not accidentally inhale anything that will break down my body and overcome me in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, O oh God, for purifying whatsoever I ingest and whatsoever I inhale and whatsoever touches my body. It will not be able to harm me. It will not be able to overcome me. It will not be able to prevail against me and my household. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And now, as we go into our day, close by making this declaration. Father, thank you for your quickening spirit that is mightily at work within me, Lord. Your energizing spirit that is strengthening me, invigorating me, and energizing my spirit, my soul, and my body with all of your explosive power from your realm of majestic glory. And filling me with your great and glorious hope and divine joy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Go forth and conquer through him who has made you more than a conqueror. For in Christ Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, you triumph. You triumph always. Glory be to God.